and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sean Lily. Everyone says my first name wrong, you can call me Lily, it's fine. So today I'm going to be doing a video that has been really, really requested with... <laughs> okay. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your perfect wardrobe and I also wanted to show you how to start bringing in um, higher end investment pieces into your wardrobe because whenever I show anything on my channel that is maybe more in the luxury category I always get messages asking like what the hell do I buy first like where do I start with that whole world so Today I'm going to show you, you very kindly have a sponsor this video is going to be sponsored by Farfetch Which if you don't know who they are you of course you do right why would you not know who they are? They are the home to some of my favorite designer brands, which a lot of websites don't actually um, have and you can't shop them. You already know the type of girl I am, right? You know the brands I'm obsessed with and they have them all on there, which means I don't have to go to each individual website. I just shop it all there and it arrives at my door. They have very, very kindly given me a discount code for you guys to use, so if you use LSFF10 at checkout will give you 10% off. If there's anything you see in this video that you want to buy or you're about to buy your first designer bag, we got you. Okay, today's video, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you are. Let's go. So tip number one for starting your perfect wardrobe. You need to do a little bit of research here. Go through your pictures, go through your wardrobe, maybe even ask your friends, what do you always see me in? Or like, what do I look the best in? That's what you want to invest in. <gasps> Well, you look the best in, that's what you want to invest in. I think there's this idea that when you're about to get into luxury clothing or you want to spend a little bit more on an outfit, it needs to be something that is really extravagant. So like a dress or a pair of heels that you know, you're going to wear at one time, but you want to look the best. You're going to wear it one time. What is the point? Me, I wear hoodies and sweatshirts all the time. So I decided to pick this one up from Balenciaga. I wanted this hoodie for a really long time. So has the whole world apparently because I've been struggling to find my size. I finally found it on Farfetch. It's black. Check. It's oversized. Check. It's cute. Check. You guys know you're about to see me in this every single day. And that is the point of investing in your clothing. It's to literally wear seven days a week. That is why you invest in it. Second tip is make sure you have some really nice denim in your wardrobe. These are from Brandy. I wear them all the time. They're such a nice material. They're like a true denim, you know, just like a true denim. Yeah. Try and pick jeans that are actually made of legit denim instead of like a stretchy jegging material. I know that can be really comfy sometimes, but they're not gonna last and realistically you're gonna have to keep rebuying them. So I would just get a good pair. I mean, these weren't too expensive. They were like 30 or 40 dollars. So really not that bad. Next thing I wanna talk about, and I think it's vital for every person's wardrobe. And that is your staple piece. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay. I am a little bit obsessed with Hawaiian dad shirts at the moment, and I don't know why. But I think everyone needs a statement piece in their wardrobe, whether it be a statement pair of trousers or statement jewelry, maybe even you've done it with your hair, you know, you've got bright pink hair. Everyone needs that like when they're feeling super, super confident. This is by Jacquemus, or Jacquemus, Jacquemus, yeah. Uh -huh. All the French people screaming right now. I got an F in French, okay. <laughs> you gotta give me a second here. I wanted one that was still really in your face and was also slightly toned down at the same time. I think this looks more artsy than like embarrassing dad on holiday kind of thing, you know? I feel like it looks a bit more like, wow, she's cool, she's artsy, you know, she's kind of, She's kind of a cool girl. I can just imagine myself oh, on holiday, maybe in Greece, with this, a white bikini, an insane tan, my hair all out and curly, and I'm just loving life. I'm just loving life. One thing I will say with statement clothing is that even though it's a little bit out there, it's not your everyday, you know, you won't see me walking around my house or going to the gym, like there are some places you're not gonna wear your statement piece. Just make sure that you're able to style it in loads of different ways. Obviously, we've got our white bikini moment. I would also wear this with beige, like wide leg trousers. Oh my God, I'll attack, I'll 
wear this with jeans jean shorts black jeans maybe even like a little mini skirt tucked in you could wear it with a midi skirt a maxi skirt with a little slit <gasps> oh give me that. probably layer it i would maybe put like a white polo neck underneath have it out or i could even maybe do it with a blazer with your statement piece just make sure you can wear it skirt, again and again and again okay so this next item i felt like i had to talk about because when it comes to spending a little bit more on your wardrobe, realistically, this is the first thing you're gonna think of. Your baby, your little princess, your first designer bag, okay? Or maybe you have quite the collection going and you just want a new one. I don't know, let me know. I'm gonna show you her and you're gonna die. But first of all, I wanna give some tips if you're about to buy your first bag. Tip number one is to make sure that you're buying something that is timeless. If you can't see yourself wearing this in like, five to 10 years, don't buy it. I picked up my first Parada bag on the website and she is, she's to die for. Like genuinely, she is just gorgeous. What oh, deal? Okay. Oh, guys, what are we gonna name her? I think she's so pretty. Oh my God, stop. I literally can't deal with you. This is the bag I picked up. I wanted something that, again, like I could literally wear with everything. Loki got it because I have this cute little pouch to put my earpods in. Like, how adorable is that? The fact that it has like a double layer to it. I mean, stop. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at my, look at my bag. Isn't she cute? You do get a lifetime warranty whenever you buy a designer bag, but you want something that you can just live life in and you're not too scared to ruin it. So for me, black leather. Done, so good. Sticking with accessories, let's talk about shoes. So these, yes, are the exact same pair. I think a pair of white trainers are essential to have in your wardrobe. Going with the goes of everything vibe in this video. You literally wanna be able to wear it 10,000 different ways and still have the outfit feel completely different. So these are an old pair I had. I had these for maybe like four or five years. Love them to death. Still have them because I'm a hoarder and I'm not gonna wear them, but I can't get rid of them. Exact same pair. My brother picked me up a new pair for my birthday. I wear these with joggers, summer dresses, jeans, literally like a suit and then Air Force. It's such a vibe. I buy white trainers from anywhere, literally from like Topshop all the way up to Gucci sell some. But I think Air Forces are really nice in between. They're good quality, they don't cost too much. Love them! Love that. Next thing that I think is really important to have in your wardrobe is a summer staple. So you've probably been seeing me wearing this on my Instagram a lot recently. This is from Realization Par and I just love it so much. I'm really into blues at the moment. This will actually take some time. Oh, I just hit myself with the hanger in my eye. This will take trial and error. You really need to try out loads of different styles to see what suits you best. There are some summer dresses that look terrible on me and I feel really self-conscious in and then there's ones that like I don't want to take off and I'll force myself to wear them in winter and I'm freezing cold just because I feel really good in them so find where you sit realization part do some really really adorable ones another one which has the same kind of silhouette as that but this is a little bit more dressy um, is this shirt dress so again as you can see like it goes in it has the V it has nice sleeves look at when you feel comfortable when and buy it again and again and again in different colors and different styles. That is my staples to start on your perfect wardrobe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Remember that you do have a code available, which is SLFF10. If you wanna buy anything on Farfetch, it'll give you 10% off. Let me know down below what your wardrobe staple is. What have you been shopping for a lot recently? That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.